Morteczka. That wasn't super loud, was it? No. The Black Book. Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven or, 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 seals. Not that kind of seal. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice. Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it. Book of Revelation, chapter 5, verses 1 to 3. Okay. Not that kind of seal. That's disappointing. I know, right? Whenever they say it's like a seal of righteousness, I just picture this paladin seal. All right. This is Black Book. Let's look at our settings. Game settings. Expanded target selection. Add new words to the storage bypassing the book. What? Keyboard hints. Sort cards. Difficulty. Oh, you know what? I'm going to start at Zanatka difficulty, and then if it gets too hard, we'll turn it down. <laughs> Zanatka. All right. No uh, normal. <laughs> speed. Text speed, animation speed. Okay. Volumes. All right. Let's go like this. Let's do something like that. Languages, English. That looks good. All right, let's go. New game. Difficulty can be changed in the game settings at any moment. Apprentice. Znatka. Nightmare. All right. Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here. But in a sense, they still do. I will tell you a story. It tell happened me. long ago. Even before the revolution, it happened here, not far from Cherdin. I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yegor. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. Hmm. I, don't think I can't this is recall end well. what exactly happened. But this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard. Okay. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals or of or the Black Book, which old Igor kept and retrieve him. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. Oh. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. Okay, so Vasilisa didn't want to become a witch, but she wants to rescue her lover from hell? So she has to break the seven seals? Yeah, it is a little dark. It's a little heavy, right? Hi, Regal Peach. Okay, 1879. Okay, here we go. I slept poorly last night. Been waiting, hoping for you to return. But you haven't. You never sat at the table. Where are you now, sweetheart? Where you had it? Relatives. And from the warm summer, you departed. There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. Cold Mother Earth. 
church had fans to hold on to. <laughs> Enough. I don't believe you would do this to yourself. <laughs> she doesn't believe it was suicide. It'll all be well. All will be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandpa, though I know what you thought of that. But there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that robe myself. Sleep for now. Sleep. I won't be long. Okay, pretty heavy start. Um, I can't make her voice sound any louder. Voice is 100%, general's 100%. Okay. Grave? They didn't bury him in the holy ground. Candles. Oh, you can turn them on or off. Okay. To the crossroads. The whole forest burns down because I left the candles lit. Herb? Adam's head. Adam's head heals minor wounds. A useful thing on any journey. Okay. Replenish five health. Oh, this looks pretty. To the crossroads? To the field. Okay, this is interesting already. Let's go. Let's go to the field. The spring is so hot this year. To the crossroads. Prologue. Initiation of a witch. She tagged me into the a The darkness newt. of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. Look around. Milepost. Cherdin, 16 miles. Solomask, 102 miles. Nairob, 21 miles. Ritual candles. Old and enchanted candles from old Yegor's hut. With their help, you can draw a circle that can offer protection against evil spirits. Hey, it's the protection from evil spell, Elden. Applies three on the first turn. Okay, we don't know what that means yet. Can I talk to Yegor? So, have you found the candles? I have candles. Well done. All by yourself at that. That's right. Seems my teachings were not lost on you after all. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps. Otherwise we'll be crushed by evil spirits. Make a circle. Uh, what are the goal bets? Let's look at the goal bets before we make a circle. Those crosses look old. It seems people were buried here some time ago. Okay, let's make a circle. Hey, I'm good at making circles. I've made a circle. It's a patio. Is it all right, Grandfather? Oh, no. The circle is drawn. No gaps. Good. Too late to dither now think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. This old man is sus? Glacial Sin, you think this guy's, uh, this guy's bad for us? Demon Zafan, she's trusting that old man too much. All right, so more than one person thinks he's not up to uh, good deeds here. 
It's the book. It's the evil book. Put the evil book in chat. So click it. Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Think about it later? Now speak the words I taught you. Oh, not those words. Mecha lecha hi, mecha hiney ho. Read the spell, I'm scared. I'm just gonna read the spell. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it. And I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither in convertible ruble nor a fine hat. Okay. <laughs> this guy's just messing with her. <laughs> Tell her, read the words I told you. Do I have to? Yes, the words are very important. Let me hear you say them. <laughs> but bestow me with knowledge of the dark. I can't Eyes believe you made it seven shot. months. That's not confront. <laughs> oh, Jen Groovy with the seven month resub. How's it going? Thank you so much. Thanks for the resub. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Here oh. are your merchants. Now listen carefully if you value your life. Whoa, you didn't say it was going to summon a giant spectral wolf. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. Okay, I decided to not be a witch. Time for your first Zagavar. My first what? Spell, okay. Zagavar. Oh, I like that you can hover over and they teach you words. Zagavar. Welcome to your first battle. Each battle consists of turns. You and your enemy take turns, but you will always get to go first. You will win when you destroy all enemies before you reducing their health to zero. Zero. This is the black book. It contains all of your Zagavars. Try using the word Urazi. Okay. Press the end turn button to recite your Zagavar. Zagavor does four damage. Do it. There, did it kill it? It didn't kill it. The pages you had previously turned have changed. The book alters the pages each turn. Okay, now we've got all the lie. All the lie! Enemy attacks can be blocked with defense. All right, so this is a defense card. That little shield symbol. A defense shields you from damage, but disappears on your next turn. All right, a defense shields you from damage, but disappears on your next turn. Recite the page of the lie, which has the effect of defense. Okay. I'm gonna block whatever you do. Such enchanted words protect from demons, but this protection fades quickly. Bog, what language is this? I'm not sure, but it's um, the game is based on like Slavic folklore. If anybody knows. Um, the the uh, the dev team is Morteshka M O R T E S H K A if you want to look it up Morteshka. Now draw up a complete Zagavar. Okay, you may combine several pages into a Zagavar. Okay, we've got Raba defense 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 attack attack attack. Attack. Oh, why can't I do these? All right, well, I'll do one of these. You can currently recite a maximum of three pages as indicated by the empty slots at the top of the screen. 
A Zangiver consists of orders and keys. You can currently recite a Zagavor consisting of two orders and one key. How do you know if it's an order or a key, though? You can see the type of uh, the page, order or key, in the upper corner. Oh, wow, that's very, very faint. So two orders and one key. That needs to be... Oops, that needs to stand out more. Yeah. All right, so we got two orders and one key. That's fine. Let's go. Enemy's turn. He attacks for one, but we block. Okay. Vasha. This demon is nearly beaten. A couple more spells to read the world of it. The black book helps you predict your enemy's actions. Okay, good. So he's going to attack for one. Study the enemy's intent carefully to upset their plans. I'm going to upset your plans by... What is waste? It deals three damage each turn, ignoring defense. Ooh, that's cool. All right, so let's do Scorch It. Ruba. And I just need one block. Scorch It! No problem. Take that, you monkey, hellhound. Monkey? All right. Sparkle says, wait, this is a card game? I got you. I got you sucked in. And you didn't even know. Yes. No, uh, it is. It does, it does handle combat with the cards, but and we'll see today. They intertwine it with a lot of story apparently and you know it already has like a deep story um which is different for this type of game well no vasha answer this small you know because i like slay the spire and monster train and games like that but they typically have no story it takes place near churned in russia okay is that what it is you'll be a witch as soon as you return well, safe travels. I gotta go in there into the gates of hell. Okay, sweet. Gates of hell, why not? Guys, come with me. We're gonna check this out. On second thought, stay home. Items. You got on a mast on a on a You got that and knowledge. I'm sorry. I really, I really uh, liked you pronouncing this. On a on a on a on a Oh, no. <laughs> oh right. I just saw Sparkwood's name. Did you know? That they might be giants just came out with a brand new album. Did they? Yeah, I was no, listening I to it. No, they did not do it. Did not know that, did they? Oh, is that you, Vasilisa? No. I should congratulate you. For the first seal is open. Only six remain. Oh, but will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. Who are you? What sort of devil are you? How rude is this? I'm your chief advisor. It is I who grants you the powers of a Kuldun. A sorcerer. Kuldun is a sorcerer. Okay.
Are you good if you explain what an onomasticon is? Yeah, go for it. We will become better acquainted in time, I presume. Well, that's very presumptuous of you. The wish. I'm curious. Can the Black Book grant any wish? Indeed. As legend dictates. Who knows? Perhaps you shall meet your beloved soon. Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? I'm sorry, but I can't help. Every time they say seals, I'm picturing like aquatic mammals and I'm... It's just chuckling to me. Don't break its seals. No one in heaven, on earth, or beneath it has ever been able to open the scroll or look upon it yet. Do not pay attention to that man behind the curtain. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Okay, so an onomasticon is the collection of specific times of words from specific uh, types. Oh, okay. Is it like a lexicon? How do I open the seals? Oh, can't figure it out by yourself, girl. I'm disappointed in you. Okay, I'll fight you. Let me return to the land of the living. Not just yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? Seals? Now porpoises? Come on now. I name you a witch. How many demons will you take on for your service? Four? As many as possible or one? One. Surely I will only need one at most. We do not assign fewer than three imps for Sinisa. <laughs> All right, well then three. I'll pick out the best among Yegor's old imps for you. I don't want old imps, I want new imps. Now go. Perhaps we'll meet again. If you manage to open the seal. That is a very interesting start of a game. She's getting a bad deal in all this. I know, she got three bad imps, a porpoise, and she has to destroy seven seals. <laughs> right back at you. What? Well, are you awake? The sun rose while you were coming to. Had to drag you home. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. True. So, you've seen it? Huh? Are we home? Seems like it was all a dream. The devil made me a witch. Well, then it is a good day. Uh, what did I tell you? You should have become a witch a long time ago. No Balichka. Well, what's done is done. I didn't get to highlight that. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the first one. Oh, great. What do you expect me to do? Here's the second seal. The Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part, but what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm, I'll have to rack my brain a bit. Maybe there's something in the books? You yourself are a witch now. I knew that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the Suset case who told the heads of the families. A house spirit or hobgoblin lives under the hearth or in the golbets, the cellar. Now people will come to you for advice. I am old now, not many teeth left. 
Michael Dune powers are waning. Michael Dune? Who's that? Oh, Michael Dune powers. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Well, while you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. Do you remember how I taught you book binding? Of course. Afterwards, see to that visitor of yours. Some evil spirit has been giving him trouble. Got it? Yes. The devil. Have you yourself met this devil? I was initiated as a Kuldun once. I saw this devil who gave me my charts. <laughs> the nicest pair of charts you ever did see. They have a little lacy fringe on the bottom. I loved it. So breathable. <laughs> uh, short. A demon or devil who can serve as a Kuldun's familiar. Okay. Uh, he gave me my shorts. I couldn't even lift the first seal. <laughs> Seals are very heavy, did you know? <laughs> and you, who all you needed was one touch, and it's gone already. <laughs> it seems there is great power within you. Got it? <laughs> Oh, yes, let's get to work. I got it, Grandpa. <laughs> Time to get to work. <laughs> I'm in a silly mood today. I am. I am. Um, Yeah, heavy and slippery. Lure it with a nice fish. A nice fish. <laughs> Look for the spirits around the district. Maybe we'll get lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Perhaps after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. He's like the Russian Columbo, you know? I picture I picture him in uh, The Princess Bride. You look at you, I'll, I'll humor you because you're sick. Oh, so suddenly you don't mind the kissing part, huh? Okay. God bless. All right, so here we go. We're in the home. The peasants seek your advice and your help. You cannot continue onward until you hear them all out. The Black Book. Old Igor. So, Wait. Vasya, have you taken well to learning the mystical arts? Are you curious enough to learn some more? Oh, there's more stuff. So how did you become a Khaldun, Grandfather? I was born in Vilgert, the sixth son of my father, Yevlan Pichurov. It was a big family, not the richest, though. Evlampi, I like that name. Uh, Vilgort, a large village in the Churden district where you were born and raised by old Yegor. Vilgort means new village in the Komi Permian language. When you have so many mouths to feed, it's hard to save money. But we lived well as a family. The house must have been built well. That is to say, I realize this now. Then one year, a seventh brother was born. Timofey, he was called. He was a good lad. Hmm. He grew up, but I didn't look after him well enough. Heavy is this sin of mine. I still feel guilty. Vasya, having chorts is a trivial thing. You would do better to protect the ones closest to you, to fight for them. It's knowledge that gives us strength. For we harness their own power against them with the shorts under our control. One day I was looking after Timofey. We were playing with the other children, but I lost my patience with a boy. Uh oh. I cursed him severely, sent him to the Leshi. What? Also known as Vorsa, a Komi word, spirits who are the masters of forests. They control the weather and also animals and evil spirits who inhabit their domain. Hunters and shepherds have to come to an agreement with Leshies and offer them gifts and bargains. So the Leshy carried him away. We never found Timoshka. He'd vanished. Oh, it's hard to bear these scenes, Vasya. So hard. Oh my god. So he... 
he got the kid taken away by a by a demon a chort y y <sighs> so I decided to become a Kaldun. I wouldn't let the Dark Ones harm my family ever again. Or so I thought. Well, I'll tell the story of how I became a Kaldun later. Ask me tomorrow. It's hard to remember all these things of the past. You'll understand when you're as old as me. Okay. All right, let's go time to go. No, he's got, he's got more stuff. I have to go, Grandfather. All right, let's look at the book. On this screen, you can change the page composition of the black book. On the right side, you can see the current page composition of the black book. On the left side are pages available to you, but not in the current black book composition. You can categorize pages with special filters. You might receive pages that are currently unavailable as a battle or task reward. You can alter the page composition of the book to craft new pages. You need rubles. The black book volume has to stay within the limits of a maximum and minimum number of pages. In time, you'll uncover even more black book pages, which are at present sealed away. You cannot change the composition of the black book at any time. You can change the composition of the black book at any time, except during combat. Okay. So these are things not in my book. What is well versed? This page amplifies by one for every other page of the same color in Zagavor. Not enough. Oh, I gotta actually buy these. Oh. Alright. Let's not mess around with that. What's the bookshelf? There are a great number of books in this collection, illuminated books of old as well. The black books are not kept here, however. They're in a secret compartment near the furnace. Grandfather says that in the days of old, they used to bury people under the stove. That's how the Domovoy came to be. Household spirit. Okay. Can bark bark. Golbets, an izba, a traditional Russian countryside dwelling. So Golbet is the uh, seller. Old Igor says that there's the, that's where the Domovoy lives. I've never met one, but once I saw a black figure standing still in the corner of the house. To be a knower. All right, let's check out the visitors. Hello. Oh, God bless Igor Yvlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. Is there like a record noise in the background? Yes. No, Rabbit, there is a... Listen, I turn off the sound. There is, it's like a crackling fire sound. All right. It's a miller. God bless. I come bearing gifts, some flour for your household. Please, hear me out. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night when suddenly we heard some strange sounds. No, stranger than that. Then a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? Put a stone on your head. Walk around with it for three days. Do not let it drop. During, During the Saturday night shelter at the windmill, we heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shift in so shadows. So many noises happening at once. Behind such emanations. Hey, Merm, what's going on? You hate that you read the game as Black Bonk? That could be interesting, McSwalton. All right, so peasants, spirits, and fiends will all seek your advice and help in affairs of witchery. After all, you are a knower. If you answer a knowledgeability question correctly, you will receive an experience reward. That looks like a tooth. <laughs> Sometimes your answers will influence in-game events. To recognize the correct answer, you will have to carefully study your surroundings and 
the Omnom Masticon, which you can open at any moment from your menu. You can also receive a hint by pressing your knowledge button. However, you only get half experience. Okay. During the night shift at the windmill, he heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shifting shadows. What could be behind such emanations? Demons or bandits? Man from Vyatka once lived in our village. He would tell us stories. One involved a miller that had to make offerings to a shishiga, or else she would prevent the mill's mechanism from turning. As an offering, he gave part of his stores of flour, grain, and breadcrumbs. On one occasion, he forgot and offered nothing. Sure enough, the windmill ground to a halt. When the man went to investigate inside the mill, there was the shishiga, standing, sitting on the grinder, threatening him with her finger outstretched. She suddenly vanished oh. and made that noise. The miller gathered some tobacco and threw it at the shadows in the corner of the mill at midnight. The windmill started to turn again and the shishiga stopped causing mischief. Does that sound like a bandit or a spirit? I, see, to me, that sounds like it could be either. Demon? That's a spirit, you think, Cyber Monk? Okay. All right, let's do demons then. Why do you work at night? Oh, nice. Demons are at work. Jesus Christ. No, 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 that's not a demon. Well, how do you think the millstones turn? <laughs> not by the wind alone, obviously. It's forbidden to work a windmill after nightfall. Everybody knows that. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please. Help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cough it up if we help you. All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us, you know? All right. I'll find out what's going on with your chort. Your chort. Your computer gets built tomorrow, Alaska? All right. That's awesome. I can't wait for you to get it. Oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. He's not your average Miller. Usually they consort with a Leshy, but this Miller has some chort. Our spirit. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with a mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, take this herb. It is called an Adam's Head. It will heal you up if anything goes sideways. Time for you to be on your way. Well, you get all that? Wanna ask anything else? Time to Sorry, go. Grandfather. It's time to go. Ah, what? I've sent the chort to Kushova village. Okay. He must have cursed someone. Go there and fix it. You'll earn some money in process. All right, Grandpa. You are now on your travel map. Every night, it will display different locations. You may go on your way only after you speak to all your visitors. You can visit any available location. However, your health recovers only after you accomplish your task and return to the Izba. Your goal, visit your main task location. However, you can't reach it without visiting all the other locations along the way. The game auto saves each time the location changes. You can also save your progress manually, in which case the game will save as soon as you enter a new location. You can open the map by clicking on your present location. We wish you the best of luck exploring the northern lands of Cherdin Euz. Okay, so where's the mill? Main test, deal with the miller's choice. All right, that's all the way up there. Visit optional task, Kushava village. All right, let's do the optional task first. Not far from Kangord, a rich peasant named Mogilevsky built this mansion. Okay. Whoa, Joe, yours is getting built tomorrow too? Oh my God, we got back-to-back -back Ottoman Empire uh, computers being built. Gang, check out our sponsor, Artesian. They have a brand new website now. It's all snazzy. You can save up to 
No, you can save up to $100, not 10%. You can save up to $100 on a new PC by using the code BOGOTTER. Check it out. All right, let's go. Let's try the mansion. This is interesting. You stealthily creep by the village houses. At least, you thought you were being stealthy. You hear a familiar voice calling out from one of the windows overhanging the street. That's such a D&D &D thing. I want to stealthily creep by the village houses. Roll a stealth check. Okay, I got a 13. Well, you think you were being stealthy. Um, listen. Slusha, wait. I have business with you. Okay, peasant. Hush, but better whisper. I've got this neighbor and I hate her guts. <laughs> so curse her a bit, will you? Here's a killer curse or something. Not a strong one. I've got a gift ready for you. Agree, decline, or curse the peasant instead. <laughs> wow. The first decision of the game is like a doozy. I wish I could leave it up. I wish it could be uh, integrated with Twitch chat so you guys just vote. All right. Let's... um. He hates that woman's guts and wants a curse. I'm going to let Azaria do it. Can you turn this off? I don't know. Don't, don't turn it off. I didn't touch it. Um, saying, we're, we're, today's supposed to be I like know. a heat wave. This guy wants to curse his neighbor because he hates her guts. What Not a she, big curse, just a little curse. What did she do? Didn't do anything. He just hates her guts. So do I agree? Do I decline? Or do I curse him instead? Curse him I don't have time for this. I'm on my way to help the miller. You wait for the peasant to leave, then read a black Zagavr to curse him. <laughs> you have just committed your first sin. They say that the fate of the Koldun and witch is to burn in eternal flames with no chance of absolution. The outcome of some events of the game are yours to decide. Your sin counter will change according to your decisions. The number of sins affects your choice of replies as well as possible game endings. Oh. They say each person has an angel on their right shoulder and a devil on their left, but to whom you turn your ear to is entirely up to you. Uh -oh. Thank you, Azari. You, this is the first decision of the game and you already like did evil. This is why I made her decide. All right, so we wait for the peasant to leave, then we read a black Zagavor spell to curse him. Why'd you curse him though? You cursed him. I didn't click the buttons. Yes, you did. Oh, I did. Curse them, says Renami. You notice a noisy family gathering in front of one of the houses. It's unusual to see an entire family out on the street at this hour. Strange, muffled sounds are coming from inside their house. Falling cutlery, furniture moving around. Good evening to you, Vasilisa. God himself has sent you to us tonight. Everything has been turned upside down in our house. The enemy of man is haunting our house. The devil himself is here. Everyone is scared senseless. How did it manage to get in here? It's no simple matter for a chort to get inside a human dwelling. What did you do yesterday? We invited the chort in. We just had some tea. Natalia likes it a lot. She's quite fond of tea. Then we prayed and went to sleep. And in the middle of the night, it all started. Oh, they did a ritual. It turned me into a newt. <laughs> so no one said. Tea time turned into a short invasion. I wonder why these demons appeared in the first place. Because you forgot to cross the tableware or you forgot to close the windows. Where was that other thing? I the knowledge. Wait, that thing that just popped up. Oh, here we go. Is this it?
Ritual behavior. Ritual or behavior reinforced by custom is inseparable for mythology. It's often believed that specific events are a consequence of another. For instance, a peasant suffering misfortune after get, forgetting to cross himself is perceived as being punished for not observing a ritual. This has resulted in all sorts of popular beliefs. Dishes not locked away at night or crossed become a refuge for evil spirits. Ah, okay. You forgot to cross your tableware, of course. Hi, Suicide Run, what's up? And did you make the sign of the cross over the samovar? That must be it. We didn't mark the samovar with a cross. No, of course. You must do this. And please remember next time. Imagine if this was like how you lived. Like this, this was true. Like if you didn't do all these crazy things, spirits just come into your house. You're such a great knower, Vasya. Please, won't you help us? Don't leave us this way. I will help you. Oh, very well. I will help you. Hey, Koi, what's up? It's not good sleeping on the street, is it? Thank you, Vasilisa. Have some milk for your journey. Oh, I got some milk for my journey. You come inside the Izba. Everything is in complete disarray. The Chorts have certainly had their way here. You make the sign of the cross and take a couple of careful steps deeper inside. Approach the samovar, explore the izba. You approach the overturned samovar. Suddenly, it shakes and starts to move, and red eyes light up the darkened room. A demon is here. Dun dun dun! Multiple. We got a... We got a demon in an urn? And this guy. All right, so he's gonna hit for five and he's gonna block for five. All right, so I am going to block for five. Waste three on this guy. You just added a word to a Zagavore that contains a status effect. Yeah, okay. And... put block on this guy how funny okay uh he's blocking again he's doing five damage increases the weapon of each page for two for two turns okay so he's gonna attack for five i have no way to block all of that so we're gonna do that um oh no i can do it i can do this one That's why the life expectancy was so short back then. There was so much stress and fear about going to hell. Apparently. Uh, Sir TM, you're already loving what I'm hearing. Some of the uh, some of these words hit home. Yeah, it's... um Takes place in Russia, and it's got all kinds of, like, Slavic folklore in it. All right, so they're doing the same thing every turn. Um, same color as Zagavar. I just don't know what color... Oh, so these are, like... Okay, I got it. So these are white, white and black. I don't need this. We're not really taking damage. So we took two. Do 
Interesting. Uh... He just attacked me. It looked like he attacked me. All right, he's got eight life left. He's still attacking for five. Yeah, no attack in the streamer. Don't do that. All right, he should be able to just kill him here, right? Choose the new page. Any new words are automatically added to the black book. Oh, look at this. Babushka Mandalina. This page effect amplifies by one for every other page of the same color. Okay, increases the number of orders in the book in the next round by one. Three to all enemies or fierce amplifies its attack by two after each use of the pages of the same name. Hmm. Who's that? Plus four rubles, plus 125 experience. The elders of the family bow to you and thank you for helping them. They also give thanks to God for bringing you here. The girl, Axenia, assures you that from now on, every jar in the house will be crossed. All right, we did it. Okay.